Hey guys, Techline here showing you how to replace all of this with just this. So first off, you're going to want to go ahead and search up the Wi-Fi mouse application on the Google Play Store. Now this app does have an iOS counterpart, so the process is pretty much the same. So once you have the app installed, we're going to want to go ahead and set up the mouse server software on your computer. So the software can be found on wifi mouse.nectar.us. I'll have all links in the description down below. And from there we're going to download the mouse server of your respective OS. So we're going to go ahead with Windows on this one. So once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract the zip and run the application that is provided within the zip. So we're going to start up the application, click run, and yes, choose your language, and next your installation location, next, install, it's going to extract, and once it's done you should see a little pop-up with an IP address, so in case the auto connect feature doesn't work, you can manually connect using the IP address provided. So from there, it's going to show some basic instructions and just click OK. And the first button is auto connect and connects pretty quickly. Since it's going through your Wi-Fi network, you need to make sure that they are on the same Wi-Fi network. So you can see the Wi-Fi latency isn't bad at all. And it's equivalent to using a mouse and a keyboard, but then again, mouse and keyboard is better, but you can use this as a touchpad since it does have gestures like two fingers scrolling, but Pinch Zoom is only available on the Pro version. You can see I'm going to demonstrate the two fingers scrolling, and it works pretty well. And pinch zoom doesn't work. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the tech line. We'll see you in the next video.